Okay, it's in. The revenue for July is in and we've got a big one here. This is definitely a lot more interesting than last month. I mean, last month there was the whole issue as well with the thing, um, with the system glitching out. And right off the bat, Zenla Zone Zero basically did a hundred million in its launch month. We're this big, but at the same time, at the same time, we have to like realize that they had two banners this month with the launch. So it's pretty big, but also they had two banners and launch. So could it have been higher? Maybe. I don't know, but this is still really insane. And I feel like a lot of content creators and streamers are actually a little concerned about how successful this is because particularly for streamers is that it is not a good streamable game. It, it the, the level of chill casualness Zelda Zone Zero gives is not something you, 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 you would generally want to watch. I still stream it because I this isn't like a main source of income. I just do it because I want to. I'm chill. Is like whatever but i feel like people that really rely on their stream income they're they're they kind of can't really stream zone zero, zero if they really want to like get a lot of views for their monthly revenue but you know it is what it is um it is going successful i'm very curious to see how it's going to do next month because it'll just kind of just be interesting to see honestly if it can maintain itself but even more surprising is that in second place on the on global is love and deep space 42 million because i i gotta say i gotta say them them single girls are going crazy they've got cash to spend holy smokes and then dropping is honkai star rail and genshin impact which um a really big drop for honkai star rail insanely big drop but i don't think there's too much happening in honkai star rail there's a new character coming out really soon i believe I, th I think, I don't know, I don't play Honkai Star Rail, so someone in chat might know better than me, but I feel like, I know that there is a character that's super OP coming out, if not already out already. So I think um, people have been saving up for her, and then she's going to come out in August, I believe. And that will just do its thing. Then we have Genshin Impact dropping by almost half, a little less than half. Which is honestly not too surprising. 4.8 is the patch before Notlin. Uh, people are either spending money on other gacha games and or saving for Notlin because who cares about the reruns and Emily is looking like an absolute throwaway. So I, I suspect this will go up in August because in August that's when we get Notlin and a, a fresh new banner. So I expect this to go up next month for sure. Same same with Honkai Star Rail. I, I suspect that one, another character is going to release and that's going to go up as well. Um, another big shocker is Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle jumping by so much. Going from 9 million in June to 33 million in July is absolutely insane. I'm, I'm just going to assume a crazy character got released in this game. I don't play it. I'm just going to assume that is the case. Holy smokes, a game that came out in 2015 is doing this insane? I'm really curious to know what kind of a character released for this to happen. Um, and then a big one here is Weathering Ways falling by almost half as well. And some might be concerned that Shang Li didn't sell well, um, but I've got a proper story for this. Weathering Waves as a gacha game is proving itself that it is a game that you want to play on PC more than anything and um we've got to realize that the gotcha revenue only calculates um mobile and it's all, and even though it does mobile it also isn't really all that accurate because it actually properly calculates ios and then for android it just multiplies that ios number by 1.75 um by default and you can manipulate that if you want to to change the numbers as you as you see fit so it is this isn't like a absolute accurate but it gives you a fair idea at least for mobile and unfortunately there is no calculation for pc so we don't get to see the full picture and i have i use, i predict that weathering waves has big revenue on pc and in, irregardless of how low of amount it is compared to the other top games 27 million is still a lot it is Busing. The only problem is that the top is making a hundred million a month, but it don't matter. 
Um, I think Kuro Games are really happy with the amount they're making, even though there's a drop on it. I think they're happy with the amount they're making. Um, that being said, 1.2 is likely going to be a skip for a lot of people. Um, one of the new characters might be try might be pushed as a character that's really good for Jin Si, so she might get pulls. And with the rumors that we might be getting a free five star, which is one of the rate up banners, um, I don't. I suspect that revenue won't be all that high won't jump higher and i think more and more people are going to switch over to pc and we'll ha see less people spending money um on mobile so i don't see weathering waves ever going too high ever for the most part but time will tell time will tell now what else is interesting here nike is doing about average for what they're doing solo leveling is starting to drop which doesn't surprise me because the company that makes this game makes a lot of ip gotcha games and they just trying to make a big buck at the start and then we come to snow break containment zone um for almost tripling in their revenue holy smokes that summer summer wedding um patch really helped them it's working it's working for them and they just have to continue doing this and they're they're going to rise they're they're rising they're in what 18th no one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteenth place in the top of the charts this well in july from july that's pretty good honestly for the type of game that it is, holy smoke, people. People be simping so hard. It's insane. It is actually crazy. Outside of that, we don't see much else it too interesting, I don't think. Yeah, if you're if you're if you're making less than 10 mil and unless you have like a really interesting story, like Snowbreak Containment Zone, not really interesting to take a look at. But if we scroll all the way to the bottom, it looks like um we have one game that died. <laughs> Which I'm not surprised. Insane. Absolutely insane. Um, but let's take a look at it uh, uh, from another perspective and let's just divide it by region. And now we get a full story. China loves to spend on the Hoyo games because they made so much of that revenue is from China. Look at that. 68 out of the 99 million is from China alone. That's crazy. Same for um, Love and Deep Space. Like, it, it's them. There's some Chinese girls going uh, crazy ham, spending the money over here. The rest of the world makes up for the rest with 31 million. Pretty good, pretty good. And Dragon Ball Z, definitely more popular out in the West than China. So obviously the global. Who the heck came out, honestly? Sheesh. I'm very curious. And then we see all the drops right over there. As is. Totally fine, though. And it looks like the spending for Snowbreak Containment Zone is mostly in China as well. If we scroll down, where does it come here? Come up in global. Oh, did I miss it? Love and Deep Space JP. No. Yeah, look at that. Global. It doubled. So that's pretty good for them. That's crazy. Goku actually came out. But what kind of which Goku? I feel like this is one of those games where you kind of pull for the different types of Gokus in different Super Saiyans, but I could be wrong. But yeah, Zelda Zone Zero had an amazing launch. Time will tell if it can maintain um, itself. I do think it's going to remain in the top 10. It is a Hoyo game after all. Um, attractive characters are coming out, so I think people will be spending money on it. It is a good game on mobile. It runs pretty well on mobile compared to like Weathering Waves, so I think it will maintain in the top. I'm really curious to see how Love and Deep Space goes. Honestly, seeing it in second place, even in grand totals, makes me want to like kind of stream it one for one stream and kind of just see how ridiculous is it, it is. I've definitely seen screenshots and stuff from some of my friends that do play it or like discord people that discord friends that play it the men are attractive there they, they, there are some pretty boys in that one i i don't blame them for spending money on it honestly but it is what it is let me know what your thoughts are for this one do you think weathering ways is going to keep going down as people just switch over to pc do you think zenla zone zero is going to maintain its revenue and what do you think about genshin and honkai star rail and love and deep space also, if you if you do play Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle, let me know what the heck happened, because this is ridiculous. All right, thank you.